Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and boy, did I call this pack. <laughs> wow, I did not expect all of my predictions about this pack to be 100% correct. I was expecting, uh, in truth, I, I felt really confident about the Clouded Leopard, obviously, that that's a given, and the Babarusa, but I didn't expect to get all of the details about this pack down. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, if you haven't heard by now, the Southeast Asia Animal DLC pack has been announced today, and much like I was saying in my last few videos, there's no scenery for once. We did get more animals, no scenery at all. Now, this was a thing that I'm wondering if this is controversial for people, because once again, you got what you wanted. We all asked for more animals. However, with the lack of scenery now, is it worth it as much for some people? I don't know. So uh, let's just kind of go over the animals that are confirmed. So we have eight animals, like they said. We'll really only count seven because the eighth animal is a, a leaf insect, which is just an exhibit animal. But we do have seven actual Habitat animals, which is a lot more than usual. So, the sun bear, of course, we all know. But we also have now confirmed the proboscis monkey, which is a type of, of old world monkey. It's not a gibbon, I will say that. However, the proboscis monkey is something that I think is a solid pick as a replacement for the gibbon. It's not a gibbon, of course, that obviously is what we all really, really wanted. But like I said, I think we all kind of anticipated that they weren't going to do that regardless. they It was just very, very unlikely to see them trying to do the gibbon to begin with. And I think the proboscis monkey looks great. So I have no, no real issues at all. Um, we can get a look at some of the other animals. So I kind of liked how they did this trailer. They showed off the backsides of a lot of animals. Um, they kind of, like, as you can see here, they kind of vaguely show off the Babarusa, which I love the, I love the Babarusa. Like, shh, don't tell Julie, but the Babarusa looks awesome. I'm, I'm very excited about them. Um, and the Malayan Tapir, like I said, I mean, it, it's an animal that we all sort of expected if they were going to just kind of pad the roster which in fairness padding isn't all that bad um if we get high quality animals so the malayan tapir now i could argue that it is essentially as good as the mods currently available i don't really see anything that doesn't look like they did exactly the same process we did i'm not really seeing any significant model alterations i'm sure it's bigger than the beards tape here but the actual texture work and stuff looks fine it looks like you added a black channel and a white channel and called it a day but it definitely looks good so the malayan taper is the only one i'm not super impressed with however the other animals are gorgeous like you know you you really can't get this level of quality from modding like, the Clouded Leopard looks really, really good. We knew it would. I'm, I'm glad they actually seem to have done a little bit of a, a, a tweak to the custom animations for the Clouded Leopard. So this is actually the very first small cat mod we have. Or not mod. <laughs> I'm saying mod now. Uh, this is the first small cat we have in Planet Zoo. So that's going to be awesome for modders because we have a brand new rig to play with. Um, that is a little bit different from the current ones. So... That's it for the video. I could just play the same uh, five animals indefinitely. But let's hop over to Steam where we can actually show off the patch notes. So here we go. Here is the patch notes. And we can see some of the screenshots. So here is the first one. It is a, a, a rather nice looking clouded leopard. I'm not going to lie. It just it looks really, really nice. So that looks awesome. Uh, here's a picture of the lovely sun bear. I am glad, you know, they did a really good job. I knew they would. Um, 
but it, it does seem like they really did go through the effort of making the... It, it probably uses the default bear animations for some stuff, but it does seem to be a very unique looking bear. And so I'm very, very excited about that. The proboscis monkey looks great. I love, I love the texturing. I love all the fur detail and stuff. Proboscis, low-key one of my favorites here. Um, here you can see the proboscis again. And like I said, they're being a little bit more secretive about the last few animals. So we do know them. So the Malayan tapir, we've seen a, a, enough of to get an idea of it. The North Soloasi Babarusa, which is the one you're going to find in most zoos, um, which we saw again a little bit. Binturong. Now, Binturong is a thing that we haven't shown off, but once again, I kind of called it. And I'm so excited because as, as, even though I'm a modder, I love seeing animals that I've made for something like Roger Williams come into the game officially because it just makes that build a lot more realistic and stuff. And so the fact that I got in this pack for me alone, the Babarusa and Binturong is awesome. And then the fact that, you know, Sunbear, Clouded Leopard, and uh, Milan Tapir in the Proboscis Monkey are also some of my favorite animals from Asia is also a a, pull, uh, a plus. The Dole, not not the best pick. I'd actually say it's a very controversial pick. Um, if the idea is to try and make a pack that is going to kind of appease the fan base, another Canid is not what they should have gone with. They should have, if they were going to do another, in quotes, clone animal, I, I would have, I would have tried something else. I, I don't care what, but the dole is an animal that I like. I think they're, they're a cool animal, but after the fallout of the dingo and the arctic wolf, I would have thought they would have seen this coming and been like, Ugh maybe that's not the best choice. They clearly don't like these quote-unquote wolf clones. Because if you're one of those people who does say that, you'd argue likely that the Dole and the Malayan Tapir, as an example, probably are just not real, like, di like they're not really valuable animals. And certainly not valued enough to go head-to-head -head against the um, lack of scenery. And so I think that is going to be a big deal. Because no scenery at all, I can't say it does surprise me, but it does surprise me. I, I thought when I said that, I, I, I was completely wrong and like everyone was telling me that they're like nick you're you know don't you're stupid right now you're being ridiculous they want to do zero props they'll do less props if they do more animals but they want to do zero but i kind of called it as i saw it like all the teaser images just kind of highlighted existing asia sets and i i have to be honest i was expecting some sort of a um pack of some kind um for at least statues and posters, I thought that might have been where I was wrong. But I didn't expect zero props at all in the back of my head. Even if I did predict it, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but, you know, regardless. Uh, and then the weird one, the uh, giant leaf insect. Now, I, a lot, I, I, I and many were voting on the King Cobra. Now, I think it only makes sense, though, that since they specifically went with Southeast Asia as the pack, that is the reason we didn't ultimately get the King Cobra, because obviously that probably would have fit better in, like, you know, um, a general Asia pack. But uh, Leaf Insect's kind of cool. That's, you know, it's definitely not the, the worst thing. It, it is a unique insect and should be a fun little exhibit. But uh, past that, uh, what else is new with this update? So we have the scenario. So we have a new Hawaiian scenario. And um, I'm not really sure. It, it, I guess it takes place in... Oh, wait, it's not Hawaiian. It's Haiwan Hibet, Hib, Hibat Park in Malaysia. And um, so that could be fun. And 
we know that we are going to be getting a statue. So whatever it means, whatever this scenario is, it just means we're getting a statue. Now, if it's in Malaysia, I'd assume Malay and Tapir statue could be possible. I mean, it could be any of them. I hope it is something like, I don't know, like maybe the Babarusa or Sun Bear. But um, we don't know. So I think that is something to keep your eye out for. Um, or for existing in-game animals, it does specify staples like the Indian elephant, saltwater crocodile, and gorilla. So it could mean we could get something like an Indian elephant statue. So that is another option. And then finally, we have dive into the Steam Workshop. So it's fully compatible with the Steam Workshop. Cool. We knew that. So you can get all of the non scenery items from the workshop i guess um so yeah so you can order this now i mean again i'm i'm a little iffy on this pack and i feel like a lot of people are and it's only because zero scenery at all with a bunch of animals is kind of a this is either gonna highlight the fact of when i say you don't want more animals it's true, or it's going to highlight the fact that, um, like, apparently this is what people want, but I personally see this kind of making the pack even less valuable long term, only because the animals that are in it are only going to last us X amount of time. You make us a, a, a habitat for each of these. So let's say you take a week per animal. It will stretch this pack a little bit longer than the others, but sort of artificially because there's no lo long-term lasting impact of the pack, because, like the scenery props. Like I use the faux rocks to this day. I use the South American bamboo to this day. I use even something like the Arctic wood to this day. Without any props, well... Eh, who knows but we'll see because i will say they did sort of make up for that with the flexi color water and the new statues that are going to be available from scenarios and the career mode as well as of course billboards which are obviously going to be a game changer for the game so y you kind of have to weigh it like that so the free stuff i think is more heavily implied for the the creative side of the community but this is finally something that's kind of feeding that desire for more animals but let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm really curious how everyone is going to receive this pack so i've been nicholas lion rider and i will see you in the next video